Hi there, and thanks for joining us here at Philip Capital Market Watch. I'm Jonathan Vijaya, dealer from Philip Capital CFD Contract for Difference team. Today we will be discussing about the business models of the semiconductor company you probably never heard of. SML is also known as the Advanced Semiconductor Material Lithography. If you zoom into your iPhone chip in the nanometer scale, you can see within the chip, the layering is known as the lithography process. The process creates nanometer layers that fit into the tiny chips. SML creates equipment for chip makers and their revenue corresponds to the growth in the chip making industry. The way nanometer layers are created is very similar to how digital cameras operate. The equipment suits up like into projections and produce the image. However, in SML equipment, laser is used to create a projections into the wafer and produce the end product, which are nanometer scale layers. SML is a leader in this lithography process. They have been in the market since 1984 and is currently the world's only manufacturers of lithography machines that use extreme ultraviolet light, which is essential for advanced chip, manu chip manufacturing. Some of SML main customers are big companies such as Micron Technologies, TSMC, SSMC, Global Foundries, SMIC, Intel, and Samsung. Their main competitors are Nikon and Canon. According to market statistics, SML controls 85.4% of the market share in the lithography semiconductor industry. Did you know that chip makers tend to place orders for chip making equipment six to 12 months ahead of actual productions? Based on a scenario from Bloomberg Intelligence, the quarterly chip market may recover to 107 billion in 3Q 2021, which is similar to 3Q 2019. Demand for chip making equipment could start to recover in 3Q 2021 as it did in 3Q 2019. The chip market may be able to achieve 112 billion in 3Q 2022 and 113 billion in 4Q. Boosting demand for chip making tools such as edge and the position tools supplied by Applied Materials, LAM Research, and Tokyo Electron Tel. Let's look at its future earnings. Source from Bloomberg has estimated that the potential revenue growth will increase 15 points. Uh, 658 percent in 2021 and potential earning per share will increase around by 38.076 percent indicating strong potential growth. SML price is 378.56 and has been trending on sideways for about three months. The average directional index ADX along with the negative directional indicator minus DI and the positive directional indicator positive DI are momentum indicators. The ADX helps investors determine the strength, the trend strength, while minus DI and plus DI help determine the trend directions. Price is moving up when plus DI is above minus DI, and the price moving down when minus DI is above plus DI. Crosses between plus DI and minus DI are potential trading signals. Trend has strength when the ADX is above 25, the trend is weak, or the price is trendless when ADX is below 20. DI plus is 26.649, while DI minus is 28.229. Currently, the ADX stands at 12, which means that the current trend is weak. The RSI stands at 49.176, which means that it is neither overly bearish or overly bullish. I expect the price of the SML share to fall within a price range of 350 to 400 in the coming weeks. Investors could potentially reap profits if the price go to 360 to 370 area. However, for value investing, I will likely hold this for long term as SML is currently the single dominant player in lithography market. To gain exposure to, to SML, you can purchase it on points platform under the stocks tab. We recommend you to have a stop loss and take a profit level if you're trading. That's all for Philip Capital Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube.
Also, tell us what you think. Will you be investing in this stock? Thank you.